Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool, and I've got another tangent I'm working on for a minimalist tool kit. Uh, sometimes it's really nice to use big tools for small jobs, um, rather than trying to stretch the small tool into a big job. So what I wanted to do is create a small, really convenient, but still functional, half-inch drive socket set with a quality ratchet and an extension. Um, I have plenty of half-inch uh, impacts. I actually don't have much in the way of half-inch chromes anymore. I got rid of them because I was usually using them on, a, on an impact wrench. Um, but I, they're big, they're heavy, um, and you don't need the whole set. So what I wanted to do was explore this concept of trying to have a um, minimalist half-inch drive ratchet set with quality sockets. So here's what I ended up doing. And I've got my Sears or my Craftsman half inch uh, fractional set here. I've got a couple of, uh, these are semi-deep um, snap-ons. I seem to end up with a lot of semi-deeps. I think it's a good compromise. Um, I've got a few specific um, longer ones, like uh, 21. Um, I've got the extension or the, uh, the long or the deep sockets. Um, and then a full set here. This one's more of a shop set. This one lives usually out in the garage. Sometimes I grab a few for vehicles, but what did I do? Well, let me show you. Here's what I've got. Start with a clean slate. And there's my, right there, there's my entire half inch drive socket set with ratchet and extension. That's it, the whole thing. So let's take a look at what's in here. So first of all, uh, here's my extension, snap-on extension, and it's got a Craftsman uh, USA made 3 8 to half inch converter there, or adapter. So if I've got some 3 8 sockets, I can still use this. Uh, and then I've got some sockets. Um, what do I have? Here's a 10, here's a 14, Here's a 13, here's a 12, here is a 15, a 17, a 19, and a 21. So there's my usable sockets on top of this snap-on stubby half-inch uh, ratchet. Um, this thing is incredibly strong. It's the same strength as the full size one here, half inch drive. As you can see, the heads are identical, so much so that if I back these out and slowly brought them up, you know, which is which? Can you tell which one is which? You know, because this one says USA on it, but that's uh, that means I could easily attach a cheater bar or a pipe or something onto this small one and generate as much leverage um, as a foot-long handle here. Um, and I often have a breaker bar in the vehicle, you know, if, it, if it's my own vehicle, um, that I use with lug nuts. So if I needed a lot of force, but a lot of times you don't. You know, I might be putting a 10 on here, you know, to maybe snug down the battery, although this is probably too shallow for a long battery a holder, but anyway, it's a very small kit. What I did is I went uh, and got a set of these Capri half inch stubby impact sockets. This is the metric set. They're, they make uh, metric and uh, SAE, um, I, and this one uh, and the uh, SAE one I think are $39 on Amazon for a full set from a 10 to 24. I don't think there are any skips. Um, it, it is stubby. And, and lots of people have reviewed these on their channels. Um, they're solid little design. It just, it has limitations. However, here's my limitation. Do I have something or nothing? Um, and for most things, yeah, these will work actually. They may not be the most efficient, um, but they definitely work. So this is actually really similar in size to a lot of 3 8 except I've got the half inch abilities behind it, or even the quarter inch. Um, so there it is, and it all fits nicely into this little pouch as an expedition. I think they call this a cocoon pouch. I just give a little tilt to this, drop that in, connect that up, and then I start uh, filling in the sockets in these in, along this this space here. And 
zip it up. There it is. Let me know what you think. And with that, dock out.